500 mananaliksik at mga guro na nagmula pa sa iba't ibang panig ng daigdig ang nakilahok sa 2015 International Research Conference on Higher Education na ginanap dito sa Subic Bay Freeport Travelers Hotel and Convention Center. Inilunsad ang ikatlong International Research Conference on Higher Education sa pangunan ng Polytechnic University of the Philippines at sa pakikipagtulungan ng Commission on Higher Education at Department of Science and Technology. Ang tema ng conference ngayong taon ay Social Capital and Innovation, Bridging the Knowledge Gap for International Competitiveness. Um, Urche is a very important conference for Filipinos and, and others who will be coming. Uh, they'll learn about best practices in research, new strategies for research, and trends. Sa unang araw ay nagkaroon ng simultaneous packet seminar sessions na sinundaan ng opening ceremonies. Nagbigay ng opening remarks si University Executive Vice President Dr. Manuel Muhi na siya ding chair ng 2015 IRCHE. At tumayong keynote speaker si Dr. Regis Romero ng R2 Builders Group of Companies. I am telling you about this not to brag but illustrate the goodness of God to me and the importance of hard work and honesty. Uh, well, uh, we expect that uh, a lot of research will be undertaken, especially on the social and civic concerns. And there are a lot of scholars and researchers that are here that will uh, probably provide uh, the needed uh, structures, that are models, especially in other countries. Sa ikalawang araw naman ay nagbigay ng keynote address si CHED Commissioner Alex B. Brillantes Jr. na sinunda ng mensahe ni Valenzuela City First District Representative Sherwin Gatchalian. Uh, sana may harapin mo tayong ganito na event in the future and rest assured na uh, we will support uh, this type of event in the future. Samantala, bibigyang pagkilala ang mga natatanging pananaliksik at poster presentations sa kauna-unahang Nemesio E. Prudente Excellence in Research Awards. Ito ay gaganapin sa December 5. Muli mula rito sa Subic Bay Freeport, Dominic Bolo, Observer.